Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. This is my desk setup currently. It is very gross and there's just, it, it needs a lot of work, it's very dusty. So if you look, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Let me, let me get some light so you can see it really well now, but that's, that's dusty. It's dusty. Uh, look at the cords, the cords need help. The back of the computer, uh, rat's nest back here. So the setup just needs some love and I have a couple new things. I got this monitor arm and it swivels over so, oh, so I can uh, do some racing games. But I also bought another one of those. I'm gonna hook it up to this monitor. I really do like that one. So let's get to work. First step is removing everything, just going through, unplugging everything possible. And I'm very excited because when you when you have a nice setup and you go through and you clean everything, it is amazing. It feels so good to use it and work on it. So let's just start going and unplugging everything. It's, it takes a couple hours to do everything. So first start off with just unplug everything here. Boom. Okay, PC is completely unplugged. We are definitely gonna be dusting that. Now we need to unplug the monitors. So come back here, unplug that. Yeah, I do like this monitor arm. I need to fix this clip right here. It's uh, for cable management, but that's unplugged now. Take my whole mic setup apart. This thing is extremely dusty, you can see. Need some love. So then you just slowly start going through everything and just tear it all down pretty much. <laughs> Keyboard is also pretty dirty, got some crumbs in it. Need to blow it out, get, get it clean. This is one of the harder parts, just taking everything apart. Uh, it's all tangled and the cord mess I've made. So, start pulling on stuff, stuff will start to come out. So this mic has a lot of issues. This is a, uh, like stuff you use when you're moving. It's, it broke, so yeah. All right, so I'm not gonna touch this monitor over here because uh, it's, our, it's attached and it's at an angle I like and it's perfect, so I'm not gonna touch that. The mouse pad, I'm gonna clean. You go put it in the tub with this soap and then you kinda rub all the dirt and gunk out of it. But uh, we need a dust cloth, first off. I'm choking on dust over here. That mouse pad is taking a bath right now for like 20 minutes I usually put it in for and it helps a ton. But this right here is the worst part. It just dust everywhere. So I'd grab about three of these rags because one you get wet, one is dry, and then one gets really dirty after a little while. So I'm just going to start with the dry one though. Just go clean all the crevices. There's a lot of scrapes and scratches on this desk, so it's not dust or like, it's just marks. But this desk still works really well, still goes up and down. So I'm not replacing the desk yet, one day I will. but. For now, this desk works just fine, and it is a little shaky. You need to get down there and screw in some bolts. Next, I think we blow out the PC. That's usually a good next step. Take all this stuff off and out. So, my computer is pretty dusty. It just needs some love. Your computer will run better, work better, everything better when it's not all dusty. So as much as you can dust it, as much as you can keep the dust away, your computer will work way better. Less stuff will be clogged, it runs cooler, everything. So I have an air compressor you can use. Um, the cans of air also work, but I have one of these fancy things, so this, this will work, this will do the job. All right, while we have the air compressor, we need to blow out this keyboard. It's pretty dirty. This is the simplest way to clean it, but if you want to get a deep clean, you take each key off and then uh, you clean underneath of it. But we're not doing that today, That's, that takes a long time. <laughs> All 
Okay, so one thing I'm deciding on is how to run the cables. I'm thinking I use these and I kind of run it under. It's going to be a lot cleaner, probably. I'm going to do it underneath and then some on the side. I just want to be very organized. <laughs> I'm going for peak organization here. And I kind of, I'm deciding, so I've put my PC on here and I've put it on the desk and I don't know which one I like better. I kind of like it on the desk because it's a little bit cleaner and looks nicer. But I don't know. I'm a, I don't know. I'm unsure. All right, computers all dusted out as good as I can get. Um, this back filter was very clogged, so my cooling could be a lot better now, or it could just be roughly the same. It doesn't do that much. It's just like airflow, different stuff like that. So that's step one. I need to get all the panels now, wipe them down with uh, microfiber, and get all the fingerprints and stuff, reinstall them, and then I need to decide whether I do it on the desk or on here. I don't know which one. Clean each of the panels. All right, it looks pretty good. I see a couple fingerprints, but can't get them all. So I'm thinking I try on the desk first. If I don't like it on the desk, I can move it down here. It barely fits on here, like feet hang off by a tiny bit. This is like barely not big enough, but it would stand on there like I had it before. I'm gonna try on the desk. I think that's a good starting point. Okay, so now we need to build the monitor arm. I usually like to get everything placed down and then you start placing the cords. Uh, this is the same monitor arm right here. It's it's a nice one, so get to building. All right, that's solid right there. So it, it looks very clean. It looks very nice. Lots of room down here to put the GoXLR and stuff like that. And we should be pretty solid. All right, so we are not gonna have the mouse pad for a little bit. It's drying off right now. So that's gonna be probably a couple hours till we actually have that ready to roll. But if I just go through with this cloth, grab any of the extra clean, actually give it a good wipe down. This thing's ready to roll. Uh, keyboard looks good. I'm just gonna set it here. Uh, obviously the mouse pad will be underneath of this. Let me grab the mouse also while we're here, I guess. Give this a good wipe down too. Boom, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. This needs a really good wipe down. It's just a dusty mess. So, I mean, it looks better than it did, but it's still not great. It's got spots and a crack in the middle. So, might have to do some more work to that, but for now that will sit there. Next problem I have to resolve is the mic. So here's the issue, right? It broke right here, and it broke right here, and the cable is attached there. It's not an unattachable cable. I mean, it's hard to see right now. But as you can see that cable right there, you can't detach it. So this is one whole unit, and there's nothing, even if I ordered a new like mic stand, it just doesn't work because this part is the part that's broken, and the cable is right there. Not much I could do about it. I think I'm just gonna kind of tuck it behind a monitor and up some of my settings so it can still hear me well. But I don't know. I don't know how to make this look good. <laughs> good news slash bad news. Uh, Luke's GoXLR isn't working so I could steal his <laughs> mic and just use his mic. But uh, you see that? That's the same issue I was having. <laughs> so I might try to screw that in before that becomes an issue. So here's kind of where I had it before, but it blocks when you're sitting here, it kind of blocks the, that side of the monitor. That's not my favorite, but I really don't know what else to do. I don't know where else to put it. I think that's going to be the best spot right there. All right, next are the headphones. Let's clean the stand and then we could put the headphones on the stand. I'm thinking I just usually do it like right there or maybe right here. It doesn't really matter. When I'm on the computer, the headphones are off, so it looks like it blocks it and it looks bad, but that's what it looks like when I'm on the computer. So it doesn't really matter that much. So I'll put that like that and that works. If you are a streamer, I highly recommend the Stream Deck. This is very helpful. When I stream, which isn't very often I know, but when I stream, this is extremely helpful. So we'll kind of run that back. We'll figure out cords in a little bit. All right, my next thing is, should I go Nintendo Switch like this with this in the middle? 
because when I have my hand here, I usually like to keep my hand on my mouse and reach over and click it with my left hand. Or I could switch these like that and then I can reach over and do it with my right hand. It, I don't know if it matters. I don't know which one looks better either. I kind of like it like that. I feel like that's nice. Last up is just the webcam. That's really it. And I usually put it on uh, this side and I'll move my mic when I'm streaming or have my camera on, just depending on how I do it. Here's the situation so far. Um, we've only ran a couple cords, but we got a little five dongle here. This is kind of nice. And it, so we got most of the peripherals run so far. We got the mouse, the head, I'm working on the headphones and this right now, it is, it is pretty difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very organized so far, I gotta say. And we also don't have monitors plugged in, and we're also working over here on the PC cable, so it, it, it's difficult. This is a difficult thing to do. All right, I, it's all finished. We got a couple cords that I don't like down here that is gonna have to be fixed, but it's done pretty much, and that's what it looks like back there. That's better than it was before. Still not great, but... I think it's ready to be turned on. She fires right up. And I think I have all the cords in, all the HDMIs and everything. I think we're good, I hope so. I also need to figure out this cord right here. This is the power cord to the PC. It's just so thick. It only fits in one of them and then it's kind of weird to run down because I got some cable managing stuff. But honestly, not too shabby. Okay, so I need to be a little bit more organized. So that fits right there. And that looks good. So I can put some pens and stuff in there. I needed that. Uh, it works right here. I mean, that pull-out tray doesn't pull out, but I don't think it looks bad. Yeah, I think it looks fine. It's a it's a good addition. It's functional. And yeah, it. I think everything here works. So it actually took a couple hours for the mat to finish, but uh, nice and dry now. It smells good and it looks a lot cleaner than it was a little while ago. So this is the final piece to this puzzle. Let's install it. <laughs> install it like it's screwing in wood or something. That was hard. There we go. All right, the setup's finished. I'm very happy with it. It looks good. Looking back at those cables make me happy. And it's decently organized actually. I mean underneath, if you look up, but if you just don't look up, then that's, yeah. Just don't look underneath the desk at the cables, but at least it's not on top of the desk and the mic's all fixed now and it just looks beautiful. I wanna add a lot to that little rack over there. I have a couple notebooks and stuff I could throw in it, but thank you all for watching today's video and I will catch you all next time. Bye. Up this morning and rubbed my eyes. Took me a second, but I realized that I'm still the same man I was yesterday. See, I made a promise to myself to make a change and better myself, but I don't feel.